Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 135 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to show you how you could edit the defaults for a plugin. Now, specifically, what I'm talking about is if you have an image and you want to send it to a plugin, there's a few different ways you could do that. The way I recommend, and the easiest way, in my opinion, is just to right click on the image, go down to Edit In, and then you'll see all your plugins. And for the sake of this video, let's say I want to send this image to Luminar 2018. I'll click on that, and we come up with this dialog box. Now, I recommend that you either send the image to a plugin as a copy or a copy with Lightroom adjustments. That way, you're not messing with the original image. So I'm going to send this image as a copy with Lightroom adjustments to Luminar. Now down here we have some defaults. Now this will vary from plugin to plugin. For Luminar, the defaults are file format TIFF, color space sRGB, 16 bits per component, 240 resolution, and we're not going to compress it. Now a couple of these settings I don't care for. I don't like the sRGB color space during my editing process. I prefer to use the Profoto RGB color space. Now I've talked about color spaces in the past. Profoto RGB is just the largest color space. And during my editing process, I prefer to edit in Profoto RGB. sRGB is the smallest color, color space. So there's, you know, with Adobe RGB in the middle. Display P3 would be different from computer to computer, and normally you wouldn't use that anyway. So I prefer Profoto RGB. And I prefer a resolution of 360. Now, most of you could use 300, but I was talking to a Epson printer rep, and I've talked about this in the past. An Epson printer rep told me that for their printers, that you should use a resolution of 360. Now, I've never found that in any of their manuals or in any of their websites. This is just what the Epson printer rep told me. So I prefer that resolution to be 360. Now, I could change them here. But I'd have to continually change these. Every time I send an image over to Luminar, I'd have to change these. You could change the default. Now, to do that, what you need to do is go to Lightroom Preferences. If you have a Mac, it's under the top Lightroom menu. If you have a PC, it's under the Edit menu. And you just open up Preferences. Now, the third tab over is External Editing. And the part we're interested in is right here, Additional External Editor. Now, you could see it defaulted to Luminar 2018 probably because I just had that open. Now what you would do is you would pick the plugin you want to change these defaults for. So in my case it's Luminar 2018. I want to change my color space to Profoto RGB and I want my resolution to be 360. Now of course if I wanted to change compression, the bit depth, or the file format, I could do that as well. But I like those the way they are. Now, just changing them there does not make it permanent. To make it permanent, once you've done this, open up this drop down and go all the way to the bottom. And you can see it says Update Preset Luminar 2018. Click there. That's all you need to do. Now it's edited and changed forever. Now I have found that there is a bug in the current version of Lightroom, the current version as of this video, Lightroom Classic CC, that sometimes it won't save properly, meaning it'll seem like it's working, then you'll close down Lightroom and reopen it, and it didn't really save. It's back to its original default. All I found is that if you do it a couple times, it seems to work finally. Also, sometimes that choice way down at there at the bottom to save it uh, isn't there and you have to just keep doing it. So that is a bug in the latest version of Lightroom Classic CC. So if you encounter that, just close down preferences and then do it again and hopefully it'll work. Now, when I right click on my image and I want to set it to Luminar 2018, you'll see that it is now defaulted to what I want it to be, Profoto RGB with a resolution of 360. So that's how you change those plugin defaults. I hope that helps. Remember about that crazy bug in the current version of Lightroom Classic CC. You might encounter an issue 
Hopefully in an update they fix that and you won't encounter that ever again. Thank you everybody that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.